Two last little, little quotes from this. Again, this is the op-ed published in Nature Human Behavior this week, explaining why science is off. That's not their understanding of what they've done, but uh, gender identity, an individual's conception of self as being a man, woman, masculine, feminine, non-binary, ambivalent, etc., based in part on physical, psychological, and social factors. Oh wait, that was a definition. That wasn't a complete sentence, so that's why that read that way. It is the internal experience of a gender role. There was a broad range of, range of gender identities, including but not limited to. You ready? Oh yeah. Okay. There's a broad range of gender identities, including but not limited to transgender, gender queer, gender fluid, non-binary, gender variant, genderless, agender, non-gender, bigender, trans man, trans woman, trans masculine, trans feminine, and cisgender. Holy and moly. And then, then two paragraphs down, they say, researchers are encouraged to promote equality between men and women in their academic research, which by nature should be granted on the recognition of merit, competences, and creativity, regardless of any other personal attributes or orientation. Well, if they're going to divide the spoils between men and women, where does that leave the gender fluid people? I don't know. Or the agender or the non-gender or the gender queer or the, uh, or, or the envies. <laughs> oh, my. I mean, I'm actually <sighs> glad that's in there because the language beforehand, if you don't know how science is supposed to work and what yep. they're actually saying and what it would do to actual science – Right, it's a little subtle. It's a little I mean, that's subtle. That's what we're here you for. We're trying to re reveal it as not being subtle, but yeah. You could have an "Am I misreading this?" Uh, yeah. response until you get to that business, and then it's like, "Oh, I get it. This is just some sort of ideological polemic, and our, yeah. this is no longer a scientific journal." Get it? You captured it. Yep. Um, enjoy it. You know. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it until you burn it to the ground, which you are in the process of doing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Let's let's take. Let's take the functional things in society, take them over, and destroy them. And then look for more things to take over and destroy. But you know what? They're not going to last forever. There's not an infinite amount of successful actual systems because you're destroying them too fast. Okay. But then next, next phase. We are about to discover what, what you and I already suspect, which is that our field doesn't exist in any meaningful form anymore mm -hmm. because our field being broadly evolutionary biology is that evolutionary what you're biology human, human and biology human behavior you know, human behavior are is our field going to come together and s say that nature human behavior is effectively no longer a scientific journal and should not be taken seriously because that's the obviously right response here mm -hmm. or are they going to continue to publish there and put it on their cvs proudly and um, I don't know what the name for this behavior is, the cowardice that causes you when somebody is powerful not to call out their destruction of things that you consider to be fundamental. But if that is what happens here, then it will effectively tell you you can safely ignore this field because, yep, they did us a favor. They published that editorial in a place that we can read it. But mm -hmm. where else do these beliefs have an important editorial role? What are they adjusting about yes. what it is you're reading in the journals? Yes. All right. Well, and that's why, you know, that's why I organized this the way I did. We started with the Internet Rando, <laughs> and we went to the Scientific American, you yeah. know, the magazine that is supposed to be disseminating a, a comprehensible version of new science to people who are smart but not scientifically uh, – precise I, I can't think of the right word but like n not professionals within science yep. and then the scientific journals and it's like i said like i said up front it the language sounds different you know these guys sign uh nature human behavior is not talking about morphological freedom yet but it's all the same it's stuff. certainly opening the door to it it's all the same stuff it's 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 utterly insane across the board and the fact is that you don't have to squint very hard to say actually um Internet rando and the most prestigious, prestigious scientific journal are sounding a lot like one another here, and um, they're they're all wrong. They're just they're they're pretending that reality doesn't exist and imagining that by doing so they will change what reality is, and that's it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Yeah, another way to say it is that you have a um, an ideology asserting its conclusions 
its baseless conclusions, and it is doing it now. It is so powerful that it is doing it at every level. Yeah. So that if you are an internet rando yourself, you can go, you know, tweet back at it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And if you're a, you know, uh, 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 an academic, you know, who views yourself as an important part of uh, what makes humanity civilized, then you get your version of it dressed up in the proper language for that. But the mm -hmm. point is, there's no difference in nope. the uh, rigor of that essay versus the internet rando. Those are, nope. They're exactly equivalent in terms of their utility as, a, you know, their insightfulness. It's not insight. It's the assertion of an ideological position yes. dressed up as the conclusion of sober people thinking carefully about issues. That's exactly right. That's yeah. exactly right. So that's reality for you. <laughs>